Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Outline node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And uh, what the S Outline node does is it allows you to take a shape or multiple shapes and create outlines just from those shapes. So say we wanted to make something uh, kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, let's bring in an S rectangle and let's input it into our render. So we could on each individual shape, uncheck solid and uh, change our border width. And we could change our length and we could animate our position. And, uh, change our size to do something cool and make a unique, like little graphic all this out of this. And, uh, so say we wanted to make like a little spinny thing going around. Now we can do that with each individual shape, or we could do it with multiple shapes all at once. So let's go ahead and uncheck the solid and uh, let's get our border width back and uh, let's create multiple rectangles here. So we're going to paste like, I don't know, five of them. And we're going to get a merge. So an S merge, we're going to bring that in and bring a merge node into our render. And we're going to input our little rectangles one by one here. And, uh, let's just start changing the location and, uh, let's get one big one so we can kind of see what's going on. And uh, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just <laughs> making something different. So let's go ahead and uh, input all these and change up their location, maybe their sizes. And let's bring our last one in. Let's bring it over here. Stick it right there. So now we've got this weird thing going on and we can go ahead and uh, recolor them all if we wanted to, but I'm really not going to bother with that right now because we want to create outlines with all these shapes. So instead of going to each individual one, we can do it all at once with an S outline. So I'm going to bring in the S outline and we're going to input that in after our merge and bring this into our render node. So now you see we have multiple outlines for uh, all of our little shapes here. And, uh, let's bring this guy up a little bit so he's back on screen. And within the outline node, you can uh, see we can change uh, our overall thickness of our lines all at once. We can change our position once we give it a, a little length there change our position up on everything and we can change our border style. Now, one way to uh, change all these colors because they're all white and unfortunately the uh, outline node doesn't have the ability to change your color, which I wish it did, but we could bring in say an S Boolean and uh, we're going to go out to our outline node. We're going to just take one of these little rectangles. We don't care which one and input it and then go from our merge and input all the rest of them. And we're just going to say X or, and we're going to replace our little color here. A nice bright purple. So now if we change our line position, you can see we're getting different lines going on. Let's go ahead and bring our large rectangle into our uh, bowling there. Let's bring this back in so we get multiple lines. And then we can go into our little outline here. And uh, we can change the length up so they're shorter. And uh, let's keyframe this little position here. 
So there, we're gonna go to the end and we're gonna put like five. So it's really moving. And now when we play, we've got that. I don't know what you would use it for, but you could. You can even change your length up a little bit. So it looks a little more interesting. And to make it even more interesting, we can add some motion blur. So there we go. That is the S outline node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.